Now, by using the word dog, so was the word dog lift your spirit? Anybody here gets a spirit lift with the word dog? No? All right. Then don't use it anymore. You see, that's the part about the, remember I told you the philosophy of yoga? That's the part you begin to walk a different path. You begin to language different things. You will begin to vibrate at another level, completely different. You will begin to, when you begin to actually use these in your everyday life, you are going to be amazed at the kind of people that you begin to attract. Because all those people that are no longer vibrating at your level are gonna fall away. Something's gonna happen, they're gonna move away, they're not gonna be your friends anymore, something's gonna happen. And all of a sudden, you're gonna find yourself with a new set of peeps. Does that make sense? So here's your homework. Your homework is to write down 10 names of 10 people that you have used words that do not lift their spirit. Call them names that do not lift their spirit. All right? And here's what you're gonna do. Let me tell you how to reverse some of that karma. You ready for this? You sit at night when it's nice and quiet. You light a white candle. Okay, this is a <gasps> witchcraft. Oh, no, not really. You light a white candle, you sit, and you write down the name of that person. You close your eyes and you, be, and you bring that person to your mind. However you envision that person. Maybe the last time you saw them. You see that person in your mind, you keep your eyes closed and you say, from this day forward, I will only use words that will lift your spirit. Forgive me for crushing your spirit. Mm -hmm. From this day forward, you will only, I will only use words. And remember that you guys got to play this back. So this is going to be on the YouTube, right? So I'm not going to language it because I want you to go back and, wi and, and watch it. It's, it's going to be on the YouTube. I promise I'll put it up there tonight. Okay? You're going to do that. That's your homework. Right? So put that homework. Watch YouTube. <laughs> All right. Questions? Comments? Yes. Can we remember the name of the person or the name that we have that person? The name of the person. The name of the person. So, Pablito. You're going to put Pablito in there. You're going to bring Pablito into your head. And then you're going to take a deep breath. And that's what you're going to say. You're going to do that with every person. So, basically, what you're doing is asking spirit forgiveness the spirit of that person the soul of that person because we communicate on soul levels we don't even realize so on homework just the name no you've got to do the whole ritual what are the other comments wow really well, not like 10 <laughs> huh not like 10 people not like 10 people You've never called anybody a name mentally or, or verbally. No. Okay, well then, I'm sure when you start to write their names, maybe something else will come up. So do as many as you think you, you need to. So what we're doing here is making <coughs> amends. It's called making amends. We are making amends with that soul light. Yes. Yes. It's going to be a total of 10 people. Yes. If you have more, you can do more. <laughs> but, you know, when you start writing the names, you start thinking. Why? Because it's, a re it's an exercise in reflection. When you start to write the first name, then you're going to think, oh, oh, my gosh. Now here's the second name. Oh, wow. Ooh, oh, gosh. Okay, so I thought 
I was really good. I, I was like you. I don't have 10 names. When I started writing them down, I had 100 names. I kid you not. All my cousins, all of them. How many times haven't I called my cousin idiot? Pensamiento. Right? Whether you call him in Spanish or English, it counts. What about Wade? Uh, all right. I don't know about you, but is way a nice word? Does way lift your spirit? Do you know what a way is? Yeah. There you go. Strong animal. Yeah, a strong animal. Mm -hmm. and, let, and let me ask you, is that a compliment? <laughs> it's not a compliment, right? So that counts. How many people have you said way to? <laughs> right? That counts, guys. I don't know about you, but in English, you call me an animal, I'll slap you. Right? Don't be calling me no animal. And don't be calling me a bull either. Right? Because that's what a boy is. Yeah. What if you don't know their, their name, but you can like, visualize them? Yes, yeah, somebody that came into your life. Good question. Somebody that came into your life at a certain point, just put that down. Does it make sense? This is called making amends. I know I told you that again, but it's really important. It's really important before you go forward, before we go forward in this ahimsa and all the yamas, you've got to make amends. You've got to make amends for all the people you've hurt in, 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 in your life where you didn't even know you hurt them. Right? That's the good thing to do. See, that's integrity. That's called integrity. Doing the right thing even when nobody's looking. Doing the right thing even when nobody's looking. That, my friends, is integrity. And that's what we as yogis strive to live by every single day. Does that make sense? Okay, good.